Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll teach you how you can create this amazing space scene inside of After Effects. And I'm pretty sure that this will be a lot of fun. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So guys before moving forward if you are new in this channel then don't forget to subscribe like comments and share and also press the bell notification button okay so right now we are in after effects version 2020 and let's start with creating new composition just click here and name it like space and we are taking like 1920 by 1080 p which is full hd and my time duration is like 10 seconds and background color is black and then just press ok okay so this is my basic composition is right now done and let's fit to screen and let's take a new start system so i need some several assets with me so so this is my star system which is 8k pretty high resolution and guys all jpeg assets are all in description box below in a zip folder you can go and use it it's completely free okay so i'm just taking this star 8k photo and just drag and drop into this composition so right now it's very high and then right click new and then take a camera and name it like a render cam because always rename your camera presets is like 35 mm without depth of field right now it's fine and then press ok and after that it will come here just press ok here nothing much and then right click new and take a null object and simply just select this one and connect with this null object so it means we are now controlling the null object without changing anything in this camera okay now select this star system here and make it to 3d layer so right now it's in 3d and if you check that this will be in 3d space something like that okay so now what we will do we'll just make this to top of this so that all this camera and the null object are below of this layer and select this one press p for position and we are moving this star system in a z axis in a very far like 25,000 and it will become very very small see it looks very small and now after that let's make it to fit to screen and we have to scale it a little more bigger just press s on your keyboard and increase the size to much higher value something like that so now whenever you move your camera it's feel like it's very far okay so the first time is done and now we have to import our planet so i have this planet this is a jupiter planet and this is a very high resolution image and now what i will do and just select drag and drop into this composition and now it's pretty high as i know and just make press s on the keyboard and then just drag the slider and something like that okay so now we have to mask out this much area so how i'll show you select this one and you have this ellipse tool just select it select the layer and drag in between of this select and drag and then alt shift and control so it will become from the center and with the proper circle value something like that and just release it okay so now it's already done here and just increase the mask expansion here a little bit so that you can see this many areas are cut it out and i think this much area is fine now if you notice these edges are very sharp so just increase the feather value let's take around five so now you can see it's looking really amazing a little bit feather out and now let's make it to fit to screen okay so now you have to make this layer also a 3d layer so now it's also in 3d space if you see the camera it's already in 3d space okay now you have to move this one also in z axis so i'm moving it to let's take around 10 like 15,000 and this is very far and now you have to increase the scale value so just increase it something like that in this case i'm increasing it only this much and i'm moving it to this area and increase it a little bit more because i want this planet to be a little bit bigger and something like that okay fine so now if you move it it can feel like you are already in z space see it's already feel like you're already in space okay this is fine now we have to move our basic layer which is our the international space station so i have this one with me so double click here so i have this high resolution international space station image and in this case we have to cut out all these windows here so just select all these windows you can use pen tool or you can go to photoshop and cut out all those windows because i don't want this window here because i want a complete png image to see through with this all international space station okay so i have already cut it out with this so this is my uh, like cut out images so let me show you with png so this will look something like that i provided all those two images in that zip folder you can use it and also it's free so just drag and drop into this composition on the top of this layer so now it feel like something this and also this should be in 3d so just click this 3d one so this will become in 3d and now we have to increase the scale a little bit so from here like 120 is good enough now 120 is a little bit bigger so 110 yeah this is fine so now if you move the camera a little bit 
it feels like you are actually going through this international space station, like inside of this international space station. Okay, this is fine. So now we have to start our basic camera animation. So we just have to click this null object and you have to make it to 3D. So now this is also calculated as in 3D null object. And now just press P here to get position. Just take this uh, animation key here and shift R to get orientation X, Y, Z rotations. So just select all this now let's just select all this and select all these keyframes and move to the last because that will be our last keyframe here. So now we are going inside of the space just select the Z axis and move inside by pressing shift you can go very fast here. So I'm just clicking it something like that and this much area is good enough. Okay so now we have to rotate it a little bit in this axis so let's rotate it this much and just move the position value a little bit higher something like that because when the camera will go from this direction to the inside of the space station it looks very realistic so now select this two and this two we have to make this keyframe animation a little bit smoother so select this right click keyframe assistant and this is like easy is in and select these two and right click and easy is out so this will be become a very smooth animation so just play this once to see how it will look like so I think this is looking pretty amazing and also the space are look so much realistic. Guys make sure the space animation should be very slow because those objects are very far from our camera but the camera closer object should be very high animation. So it's feel like already is in space. I hope you guys already understand what I'm trying to show you by using this video. And guys if you really love these videos then don't forget to like comments and share. Now we have to add more objects, more elements here, which is most important stuff here. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do, just we have to add our windows because as you all know, we have no windows. We already cut it out all those windows from here. So we are just want to add some windows because it feel like we are going see through, like we are going pass through with this all like windows here and we'll add so many things also here. Now to create the windows, I have also some glass elements here. So this is my glass element one, this is my glass element two and also this is the glass element three. So how you can use it, I'll show you. Just select the very first one and select drag and drop into this composition. So first of all, rename all the stuffs here. So this is my ISS. So just rename it like ISS and this will be our like the planet. So just name it like a planet because it will be very much confusing after very much time. And this is okay. So this is like glass one. So this is like name it like glass and then just press one okay so now it's fine now select this glass one also make it to the 3d layer now this glass layer and the iss layer are all in same position so no need to move it to z axis or y axis or x axis just scale it down to fit with this window something like that and this is fine and after that select from here the normal you can use it to screen and also you can use it to add also in this case i'm using like the screen effect so now whenever you will going something like that it's feel like see you are actually passing through with this window and whenever you will turn on the depth of field it feels so much realistic yes guys so now we have to fill all these windows here as well so guys now we have successfully added all those glasses here and the animation is looks so realistic and the smooth also now to make it some realistic and also to give some futuristic effect we were adding some HUD elements on this glass so I have some HUD elements so just drag and drop into this composition and now just turn off the sound effect and just make it to solo to see how it will look like see this is just a basic animation here and let's unsolo it and now we are want to fit this one to this layer so just drag and make the animations visible here so the animation is come from this angle and then just press normal to screen so now what happened this will come in screen and then just make to this 3d layer as well and move on this axis now if you see this will come on the same position here so just scale it down a little bit to fit on the screen here so I'm just decrease the scale value and something like that so this will be fit on the screen and whenever it will come here it's looking so much like animation of HUD element. So guys, all the HUDs are successfully applied here. Now to give some glow here, we have to apply some glow effects in it. So just from here, let's make it like glow and drag and drop into this. And now you can see it started glowing here. So just increase the glow, three shoals decreasing. You can use it, you can play with this. It's completely up to you. And you can add this one as well, something glow here. And also change the color value to like tint one. And let's change it to a little bit blue to see the glow effect should be look so much realistic you know what I'm trying to mean okay so now we have to just decrease the opacity of this to from 100% to very less 
because it's not necessary here. I just add it to look so much futuristic effect. So now we have to add our sun because without that, this complete animation is just a fake and also depth of field. So now to create the sun effect, we have to use optical flares. So just go from layer, new and then press solid and let's make it to like sun and then just press ok and select the sun layer right click effects video copilot and then we have added this optical flares and it will come here and from the on black to let's rename it to like tr on transparent yes so now we have successfully added our sun now place your positions here now we don't use this one by default just go to the options and where you can find this preset browser go down natural flares where you can find so many realistic sun kind of optical flares in this case i preferred this one and now i just want to delete some layers from here so i just want to delete this one to see more realistic then just press ok so now it's feel so realistic just move it to this area and this is fine now when you move it it's feel something like that so now if you notice the sun layer is not moving with this so you have to animate it manually so just select the position and center position here and this is the first keyframe go to the last one and move it to this much area now you have to check all the times that is it moving with this or not and i think yup this is working okay so now to give a very good depth of field with a very amazing way i have that solution so just select the render cam just go inside of this and we will find the camera options and where you can find this aperture and focal length or focal distance and depth of field just turn on this depth of field select the focus distance and increase the aperture to 200 200 is very good now it's completely blur now to adjust the focus distance to this planet i just want to focus in this planet here select this one select the planet layer and then just go to layer and the camera and make it to set focus distance to this layer. So just select this one. So now what happened, this planet is right now in focus. And whenever you will check to this like U, it's showing like this keyframe is set on this planet on this area. So just make it to fit to screen. So now move forward. And right now we are almost here. So just let's make it to third to see that quarter level value. And in this case, the value should be same. So just select this one to the keyframe will come here. And from this to this, the focus should be come on this layer so just how you can apply it is select this one and you have to select the international space station this one and layer and the camera and set focus to the their distance something like that so now what happened this is come to in focus sometimes the focus is not coming properly so you have to adjust it manually it's a bug you can call it and now you have to adjust the focus to this iss and it's completely applied successfully on this layer of iss so now whenever you will move from this direction to like backward the focus will shift from planet to international space station now we want the focus to be until here something here so now what happened just make the keyframe here as well and again you have to change the focus to this international space station now if you want to add more here something in front of this you can add it let me show you something to add in front of this camera so just go to this text layer and select the first one select here and let's make it like vfx world simple like this change the fonts from astro lab which is my very favorite which is also vfx world official font here so just make the bigger a little bit and i'm just make the color a little bit off white something like that let's make it to 3d layer from here and now i'm just moving it to minus direction like minus 300 or let's make it like minus 500 yep this is fine and now to decrease the value of the size a little bit and this is fine okay so now we have to apply the focus on this vfx world layer like this focus will shift from iss to this vfx world so now what happened select the render cam here so now this much area should be in focus like from this to until this this should be in focus so select the focus this keyframe here and now change the focus value to iss also so just let's change the focus distance to international space station and whenever it will come something here the focus will shift to this vfx world so select this one select the vfx world and layer camera set focus to layer distance and it will come in focus with this vfx world see it's a little bit out of focus so let's make it like 13 so that now it's completely in focus now 
all last but not the least we have to make some color corrections because without that this complete scene will completely look fake so now to make some color corrections we are now decreasing the inside of the space station colors a little bit darker because it will feel like a silhouette effect so just right click go to color corrections and I have this uh, curves just decrease the curves value a little bit so now it's feel like a darker because the light coming from outside so it's feel more natural here okay so now for last but not the least we are adding some cinema scope and also some cc so guys after success so guys we have successfully added the cinema scope and also a very good cc like color corrections and after whenever it will completely done maybe your output should be look like this so guys i hope you really enjoyed this amazing space animation with photorealistic technique inside of after effects and if you really love our videos then don't forget to like comment and share and also subscribe vfx world and press the bell notification button to get instant notifications whenever we will upload our videos and guys if you still not follow us on our social media handles facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all in the description box below and also these assets are also in the description box below so guys i will see you in my next video with some pretty amazing content Till then have fun, stay healthy, don't go outside and keep watching, keep rocking VFX World.